My name is Anissa Puspita and today I'm going to deliver my speech about all-nighter. Is it a good option for our body? For us who is a college student, pulling an all-nighter is not a foreign concept anymore. Maybe because of our homework, study for tomorrow's exam, or we just cannot sleep if the clock doesn't strike at 3 a.m. yet. In this point, we can consider ourselves as the night owl. Then, what makes a night owl a night owl? According to Dr. Doha Ayish, a neurologist at Houston Methodist, we all have this internal clock that helps control many aspects of our life, including our sleep and wake cycles. This clock primarily runs in sync with the ambient light, and in short, that is why when the sun down, we sleep, when the sun ups, we're awake. But for the night owl, some behaviors such as consistently eating late dinners or exposing ourselves to bright non-ambient light in the evening, such as our phone screen, television, iPad, laptop, you name it, may have sent a signal to our internal clock to shift a bit later than normal. Now, we may function better when the sun comes down, but how does our body react to this settlement? While we may feel like we're living our best productive light late into the hours of the night, being the night owl unfortunately does come with a few downside. Most night owls still have to get up early in the morning, either for school, college, quiz, work, or just because your mom asks you to wake up in the morning. It means that a lot of night owls doesn't get enough sleep. Having a less ideal sleep time can have a significant impact of a non person functioning the next day, and chronic sleep deprivation can have serious long-term health effects. For instance, sleep disturbances can increase our stress level and cause irregular heartbeats. It can also result in mood problems, poor concentration, increased pain, and even hallucination in some extreme cases. Another effect of staying up late is poor information processing memory. According to Dr. Melissa Weinberg from Dinkin University School of Psychology, when we are sleeping, our brain learns and remembers things we experienced that day. She explained that if we don't sleep, our brain doesn't have a chance to process the information. Which means if we put it to a situation where we pull in an all-nighter ahead of an exam, we're probably wasting our time. Because when we cram all of those materials in one night, we risk losing it all. So now we know that staying up all night is not a wise option for our body. But what if we are the type of person who function better at night, as I am? If I can give you some tips, I will say that the night owl should pay more attention to their diet and lifestyle, eat more healthy foods, do some exercises, or at least jogging or walking, those simple things, and slow down the caffeine intake. Another tip that I will share is to watch your screen time. According to the National Sleep Foundation, the screens of electronic devices such as televisions, laptop, tablets, phones emit a blue light that can make it more difficult for a person to fall asleep or stay asleep. They recommend avoiding electronic devices up to two hours before bedtime to help promote a better sleep. It may be worth it for night owls to gradually shift their sleep schedule to get to 7 to 8 hours shut at night as well. So generally, it is best to avoid staying up all night as going without sleep can affect how a person performs that next day and may cause health problems. However, when it's absolutely necessary for us to stay up all night, exercising, eating more healthy food, and taking a cold shower might help. And that is my speech about the effect of pulling all-nighter. I hope you can give some new insight and one of your time. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.